kids talking about anime Guess it's important to hear what they say I can rubber wipe it throughout night and day Now that you listen to the Rand Cafe What is up everybody, it's Animac here from the YouTube, maybe, and Twitch channel, Anime Out Pro, and welcome to another episode of the Rank Cafe Anime Podcast. Today, along with my lovely and amazing hosts who are individuals and not a conglomerate, are Noxtaku and Briggs from all the anime. <clears throat> Yo, what? here with the deep sick voice, very excited to represent the sick nation. I thought you've, no. been, you've been sick for like two and a half weeks. No, he's just gone Bro. through puberty, and he doesn't want to. I feel to like know. it's getting worse. <laughs> Goddamn! And Not back, away. back again after like a year, we have special guest Yaro Shien. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was in a position this entire time. Just, I there was no reason for me to try and act cool. I was just doing it on purpose, just to get a rise or laugh for sorry. myself and only me. You are cool. Oh, you are pretty, cool. That was pretty. Hilarious. You are cool, bro. You you are cool because you're at feels... the Rand Cafe. I am. I'm. I'm excited and happy to be back. And uh, for any people that did not see the the first like 10, 20 minutes of, you know, before this, please do. You're, you're gonna hear some fun stories. Yeah. Yeah. So for those of you not uh, watching on Twitch where we record live, we record a bit before the podcast. We record a bit after sometimes. And it's always a fun time. So definitely follow us on Twitch. We're actually at over 8,000 followers. And when we hit 10,000, what happens? One Piece! A- One Piece. We have a brand new podcast starting. We're on a weekly basis. I'm going to be reading One Piece. And people are going to... Um, Nox, Briggs, Teching. We're going to get other people coming in and out. And we're going to be discussing my first impressions of One Piece. You can relive it if you are already a fan. Or you can read along if you've never read it yourself. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, I hear there's pirates involved and, and pirating. <laughs> I, so I can help you with like the first 300 episodes or the first 300 chapters, and that's it. Right? That's all I can do for you. Uh, Adamak, sorry to interrupt this conversation, but I hear a little bit of an echo from your end. It's not from my end because I'm wearing headphones. Very cool. I don't know. I heard an echo when you were talking and saying the intro. Whatever, let's well, we'll just move along. Must, Hopefully, we're fine. It must be you because, yeah, <laughs> yeah. My, my, my speakers are not even working, I don't think. He's uh, such a tech master, his tech's broken. <laughs> Clearly. Anyway, yeah. who wants to start now? Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't uh, introduce the topic yet. Today, we're going to be talking about the funniest anime characters that we've ever come across, our own personal opinions, and kind of discussing them and debating them and seeing who has more cultured tastes. Well, I, as a guest, have my very first one, and it's one that I think we can all enjoy. Caster from Fate Zero. Knocks with your thoughts on that. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't see that coming. I know I'm not having the worst taste here, right? (laughs) (laughs) No, like, seriously, because his first introduction is literally just the most insane unbelievable bullshit that just happens yeah it's just like c's kid is like you may leave and right as he walks out the door this eldritch fucking monster from out of nowhere grabs him and kills him i'm not saying (laughs) bro uh, side note here, guys. Should we tell Yarashin what comedy is before he picks his number four? No, nah, it's funny. It's I, funny bro, at the very I least. Like, like, after that scene, I had like nightmares, and you're going to tell me that's funny? Like, okay, it's I get hilarious. I get me. Funniest enough. anime character is actually Griffith, everyone. I the mean, man you, summons you're... Cthulhu. I'm not, I'm not saying you're a terrible person, Yarashin. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Listen, I'm not promoting the death of kids. I am promoting the fact that this is the most insane and hilarious character for an introduction, and then all throughout the series, he's just doing more and more fucked up and stupid shit. No, I he agree. summons Cthulhu as his final act. I agree that it's that he it's insane and uh, fucked up, but the comedy part is where I don't agree, necessarily. It's hilarious. It's hilarious, <laughs> it's hilarious to me. I was like, with what, you what? all the way until you said it's one of your funniest. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, okay, if you're talking about the abridged, but no, 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 no. 
it it has nothing to do with the bridge i've always seen this character as oh he's just insane that's hilarious it's hilarious yes i understand he's not a good character i don't think ryanosuke is a good character but you have to understand in the circumstances of watching entertainment it's pretty entertaining to watch this mad lad in the most basic of terms to run around all of fucking tokyo and start shit for no reason other than i want to sex saber and that's it that is the only thing i mean that's not a bad reason bro all right <clears throat> okay animac your turn <laughs> <laughs> all right well since we're Provide. talking about craziness one of my and i guess if we really want to go number five uh i can put a number five but i just i have like five i don't really have an order but sure at number yeah. five at number five i have haruko from fully Cooly. oh yeah okay i like that that's that's definitely a good one <clears throat> i still haven't seen fully Cooly. yeah well log out bro log out I can't log out. The stream would end. It's this is my stream. Oh, I got all the power. Then stay, bro. But <laughs> yeah, so Haruko is just like you don't know what to expect from her. Is she going to hit you with her motorcycle? Is she going to bang your dad? You you don't know what she's going to do and she's absolutely hilarious and creepy too if you really think about it. But she's a great character. <laughs> A twist oh my god, on I think fucking... I'm, I'm leaning more towards Caster from Fate Zero. <laughs> <laughs> she, she will fuck your dad is the is the most interesting twist of fucking your mom in the weirdest ways in my mind. Two terrible picks aside. <laughs> uh, Nux, what Briggs, is your number five? You, Briggs, you can't say it's terrible. You haven't seen it, you pleb. This, this, this Me is and true. Annie Mac true. on the other side of the battlefield just raining down hellfire. But the fact that Nux thinks Caster <laughs> is funnier than your pick and Caster wasn't funny at all means that they're both terrible. <laughs> Let's move on to a funny character. Let me... I had... I was going to start low okay, okay. with expectations. Briggs, which character from One Piece do you want to talk about, Briggs? Um, one piece, one piece. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm gonna start off with Furu Metal Alchemisto Brotherhood. I'm not gonna go too yeah. hard to start off, but Alex Louise Armstrong is a fucking hilarious yes! character for me. There we go. Yes. What, straight fact. What an so, absolute so, Chad. He was almost an honorable mention because my list is that heat, but he he so did. I, go ahead. Here's the thing. He was one that I was thinking of, but I'm like, he does get really serious at, at certain points of time, but like. A majority of the times, and thank God for the manga artist, straight up made this this man the most beautifulest human being that you could not help but smile at his presence. Oh my God! Which I think it's a location. goddamn shame that he was not in the movie. Chad respects Chad, honestly. Um, but it's like the fact that his attacks had sculptures of him flexing on it, like just f killed me every time. The fact. <laughs> That he always took off his shirt and just made everyone else uncomfortable. Like here, here are some flowers. Like like go to, like to greet someone and then throws away the flowers and just starts flexing because that'll make them yeah. feel better. Are you sure you think he's funny or do you just relate to him on a personal level, Briggs? Why not both? Oh, he's hilarious, dude. He's no, hilarious. I, I agree. Alex how, Louis how Armstrong is an absolute legend. The only issue is he has such a great mustache that I can't consider him funny you know i just respect him so much that i don't consider him just funny i consider him beyond that um his relationship with He's the teacher's ascended. husband when they whenever they see each other and they just respect each other's muscles and you start like you see the twinkles around their character just like giving themselves a, like a nice firm handshake no words need to be said they just flexed instant respect and i was dying the entire time yeah no it's just, uh, armstrong is the epitome of just like how to be a good human being with good morals while also sitting there and making sure that everyone else is happy. Yeah. He won't ever self-deprecate, but he will always bring somebody up in order to have this wonderful, hilarious moment. It happens all throughout the series, and nobody can ever deny that. And well, I he's amazing. That's a funny character. Animac uh Yarrow, take notes, yeah. guys. You know what's even 
even better about his character. The fact, like, everything around his character is just hilarious to me. His relationship with his sister. His sister being way stronger than him, even though you thought he was an insanely strong character to begin with. Like, everything around it the just comedic Ed, gold. Ed, Ed's in the hospital. He's, like, sick and dying. And Armstrong's like, I know exactly what you need! And he throws his shirt off. You need to experience <laughs> glorious physique! And he just, like, like <laughs> <laughs> No, it is a good pick, because I'm a better person than Briggs, I will admit when he does something right. I won't just try to insult him and put him down. Down, damn, damn, son. He called damn. you out like that. Well, I, I mean, I haven't seen it. Fully Cooley, but the fact that Nux ranked Caster above that and Caster was ass. I just had to... Bro, I think... Dude, how do you, how think... do you take Nux seriously, bro? He thinks the worm from Hunter x Hunter is the funniest character. And the best looking. <laughs> obviously. Codex, thank you for the 500 bits. What, what you see, what she sees. Classic. Nux, alright, number five. What do you got? All right, so my number five is Joseph Joestar. Hell yeah. Look at this. Yeah, like number five, bro. Wait, which version of Joseph Joestar? Or just every, all of Joseph every Joestar? Every Joseph. Mostly referring to part two. However, the fact that he'll never forgive the Japanese is hilarious. <laughs> okay. I'll never forgive the Japanese. <laughs> Not everywhere. <laughs> Honestly, I still can't get over the first, no. like, when I first got into JoJo's and he pulls out the machine gun in part he one. He pulls a Tommy gun out in the middle of the street, he <laughs> annihilates vampire guy, and then he's uh, like, I know you'll just regenerate from that, but, you know, I just wanted to do that anyway. Nigurende, oh! <laughs> he just and... runs away. The secret Joestar technique. Well, he yeah, also has hilarious. the whole, the tequila shot girl cosplay infiltration yo <laughs> do you realize when he first meets caesar he's like wow this guy thinks he could get chicks and he's so cool i'm gonna shoot lightning noodles at him <laughs> <laughs> oh man that was such a great friendship it really was so is oh, that man is joseph also on your list animac oh yeah for sure he's also on mine too <laughs> oh baby Nice. Yaroshien's hey, hey, like Greece. Briggs, we won that round. Listen, yeah. I don't know <laughs> too much about JoJo's. Like I I love I love JoJo's. I just I just don't know too much. Like I've only caught up to part four and have not yet watched part five. My own fault, I acknowledge that, but I I have to I have to wait to really start giving my full opinion. And I just might do a spicy anime review of like every single part, but but yeah, well, you, like you've seen pretty just... much everything with Joseph, so you like you would yeah you'd be good in that uh, regard. Yeah, he's a, he's a great character. Uh, definitely, the evolution of Joseph Joestar is fantastic. It, but it, is what? he funny? There are no buts. <laughs> there are no buts. I he definitely has a lot of funny moments. I think he's hilarious and over the top and he thinks way ahead of the game next uh, you will say you were gonna three, watch watch five you're gonna watch part, part five part three in part Sorry. i'm <laughs> no <laughs> i'm not i'm not allowing you to have that glory just yet <laughs> uh, um but the, the but in three i feel like he did end up having to pull back but there were moments in part three that were just you know very keen allowing joseph to have his moments and he did have that that turnaround on on a, uh, I'm sorry on a, <laughs> Jotaro. There we go. I uh, kind of had that that Jojo's turnaround like right at the end. by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> so I lied. Right. I'm taking Joseph out of my top five, and I'm moving a different JoJo character in that I think is funnier. Now that okay, I think about I it. I think right. I think that's insane, bro. Nox, I'm gonna call you out on this. By the way, thank you, Jen Marie says for more magical crystals. Really appreciate it. You're awesome. Um, Nox, I'm gonna call you out on this because the scene. Let's forget the Avdol scene with when they're stuck to each other. Let's let's move beyond that. I was that. thinking of that scene. Actually. The scene where Joseph pretends <laughs> that he became Dio at the end. <laughs> <laughs> That that alone mean, the twist at the end. Up, one of the funniest moments of all time. That alone deserves higher than five, and you know it. Wow, that's damn. Okay, damn. but didn't you guys find Dio funnier? No, I thought Dio was a funnier no. character. <laughs> Look, the memes are funnier. Dio but... is an over. Dio, Dio, much like Caster, is an over-the-top character. And it definitely deserves my five spot if I so chose. Nice. All right. I thought you were gonna be like. I thought Yarushian <laughs> nice. was gonna be like. 
hey guys, uh, nice. yeah, those guys are funny, but what about Lucy from Elf and Lead? <laughs> <laughs> She I mean, just, yes. see the way that dog got sliced to bits yeah. there? She just dismembers oh, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Hilarious! <laughs> all right. All right, okay. all right. Before, before you say you're number four, anime, can you think of any Cthulhu monsters that are summoned in anime? Because I think that's a, <laughs> yeah, that's a exactly. comedy point right there. Oh, yeah. So in The Seven Deadly Sins, they definitely have a – in the, the manga. The Demon King is like the funniest character of all time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. You remember that time where they killed him and then he came back in someone else's body like 12 times? Yeah. Okay. By the way, Finkel Mare in the chat All says, right. where's the Oingo Boingo brothers? Oh my god. Those guys. They're great. They're great. They're great. Oh, They're great. All right. All right. Without further ado, number four, Yarrow. Let's hear this. Uh, Tamaki from Fire Force. I've watched okay. like three episodes. All right, number four, <laughs> anime, your turn. <laughs> no, fuck off. Okay, wait, wait, what's funny about it? What's funny about it? <laughs> okay, so it she is joke. funny. She is funny. She she's very funny Thank and like no, I like and it's none of like the the fucking fan service shit that makes that like makes me laugh. It's the little moments of how like when she runs up behind uh runs up behind Shira and kicks him. You hear yeah, and that's it. Like little moments like that. The little moments she does all throughout the fucking series are hilarious <laughs> because it, it's just, it, it doesn't have to be this huge thing. It's the little bits that happen in the background or just I, like, I don't want to be that, that you guy. See. Dude, but someone I just think that, um, Caster is funny. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, people are saying worst pick than Caster. <laughs> no. Okay. no I I do think it's funny when you have like those <laughs> anime accidents where the girl suddenly loses all her clothing for no reason. I hate that. I well, hate that. Well, that's Tamaki. The funny things for me are, are the little the little things that happen in the background. I don't care what anybody in the chat says. It's the little things that do matter in some comedy aspects. Okay, the, so the I, I'm trying to defend you. Hilarious. I'm trying to defend you, and you're like, no, Your it was defense no. is like it was the time when she was making movie. coffee. I'm sorry her this past the year up. good anime came out, and I'm sorry that there are some hilarious characters that aren't considered hilarious. So. <laughs> well, it's good that we have you here for diversity and such. Oh, definitely. All right, Animac, let's hear your terrible <laughs> opinion as well. Animac, well, before you say, can I tell Don't you? Don't like, worry, a really I acknowledge my shit character. tastes. Do you remember the Titan song, those Titans? What? Man, that, Bro, that was... those guys were they killed me, man. They were the funniest characters in all of anime right there. Which I'm titans? never going to hear the end of this from Nani Honey and Bean, you know? Hanj had oh. two titans that she like Sonny nailed down to the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Sonny and Bean, what the fuck? I... Bro, those guys, they like killed me, man. No no what else killed me because was of the, fan the fucking service. was the ending of Attack on Titan was the absolute worst don't spoil anything <laughs> what? Yeah, let, no let's just really. not let's just not let's not all right take the, all right, all right. Adam Act number four right. let's all go right. all right i'm real well, sorry i could go with pretty much anyone from psyche kusuo but i'm gonna go with my boy kaido from psyche yes! 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 i don't know what that is yes! I, right I, here, I am a huge fan of your opinion I, I don't you. know who that is, and I feel a bit like Briggs when it comes to Fully Cooley. And I feel like Briggs when it comes to Fully Cooley because I've also not watched Psyche Kuso. Wow, I'm, a, I'm just an so absolute pl plebeian. I, I what a filthy casual, Briggs. Get the fuck out of Rank Cafe. <laughs> Briggs, Briggs, Briggs. Do you remember when I was I doing my top 100 anime character list, and I said Kaido, and you were like, from One Piece? Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't? <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> I... So it's funny, I, I've, I, I've I edited a quick Psyche Kusto for you as well in like some of your videos, and I still haven't watched it. I need a... What is this show, Psyche? I think it's on Netflix, too. It's, um... yeah, it's just a comedy like, show about like... a psychic character. Yeah. Okay. Three-minute episode type things. Oh, that the dub okay, so piles like... into long runs. But it is straight up the goddamn funniest anime, aside from Gintama. Yeah, it is one of the funniest out there. I love it. Like, some people don't like the humor, but I definitely love it. It's just, it's kind of like Rick and Morty meets Japanese high school. 
Right, I don't see it, the comparison at all. all right. But I do appreciate it because Psyche's amazing. You know who else is hilarious? Psyche's Bendo. grandpa is one of the funniest characters. <laughs> Yes. Yo, you, Nendo puts me away every single time. Yeah, Nendo, Nendo is so thing. great. It's like, Psyche's like, so he has like all these crazy psychic powers. So he can like read everyone's mind except for Nendo. And it's just Nendo doesn't think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I love, I love Psyche. No, it's a great it's show for sure. You gotta, you gotta see it if you like comedy. Yeah, Psyche's the epic. Good, good all choice right, there, I, anime. I, good here, choice. I, it's a good thing I always have my notebook open. It's so good. <laughs> uh, is it my turn or Nux is next? Your turn. Okay, let's see. Hmm, <laughs> who is number four? I'm gonna have to go with Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. Now, I don't know if he was <laughs> supposed to be a funny character, but I fucking found him hilarious. He, like every time he talks, Super Saiyan I... bargain sale. <laughs> What if the reporters come on my lawn? I'll just destroy them. What is this? A Super Saiyan bargain sale? <laughs> I know people are I, like, what? what I, I? <laughs> I thought it was so funny. I like that you do it in Italian accent. A lot more personality than the character. What is this? Is a Super Saiyan bargain sale? <laughs> okay, you you were just the Count uh, from the Count Choco or whatever. Chocula. Chocula. Right yeah. <clears throat> I, I, I would have to agree with Briggs Vegeta. because it, he's... He's he's a good he's good now. I uh, compared no to when he was when we met him when he was a terrible now. person is when he was even funnier too. No, it was, he was like, only funny when he was horrible, man. What he yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. When he destroyed I, his I, uh, when he, he ki- does more ridiculous things for his wife. Yeah, yeah. Now no, is, than funny. when he was an asshole at the beginning of the show. So now, well, that he's ridiculous, I think he's not funny. When he was an asshole who fucking killed Nappa no! in the sky, I was laughing my head off. Rick. I'm no, he's still this. funny, man. He he's does some okay, funny no. ass. Still... Watching him be a wookie I mean, yeah, for he's... fucking 30 episodes yo, is not yo. funny. He's not Caster from Fate Zero. But, but he's <laughs> he funny. <is> <laughs> Caster from Fate Zero. <laughs> he doesn't summon fucking Cthulhu. Listen, I think that... <laughs> he is Cthulhu. I think that Vegeta, as a family Don't man, fuck. is very funny. Just his, like, face when he's going shopping with Bulma. Yeah. <laughs> Is pretty great. <laughs> oh, I don't know, just a serious tone. The fact that he always gets fucking shit on. I I don't know, man. I just think he's such a funny character. Alright, alright. He is the most okay, point whatever. and laugh character. Yeah. Well, I don't know what's happening right here, but I think Animax taking this round. I, I think Until that's I come along with my number four, Kazuma from Konosuba. Oh, uh, good choice. That is good a good choice. choice. Right. What about um, Megamine? The, vi- the, vi- uh, the viable I option. I mean, greatness is just played off Kazuma. I feel like every yeah. character that's great is only great because of how they relate to Kazuma. I mean, that's a fair point. I think definitely true for Megumin. I would say that Aqua is a beast of her own in terms of yeah, her Aqua hilarious. is a beast of her own. I love Aqua. But if you think about it, Kazuma taking Aqua into the other world is straight up one of the funniest anime scenes of all time. One of the biggest flexes in hentai right there. (laughs) Biggest flexes in hentai, okay? And to go even further, I think that this is also hilarious. The fact that Kazuma fights like the ultimate knight guy with the mega sword thing. And he steals his sword and bops it on his head before he's ready to start the fight. Or the fact that he's like maniacally laughing while all the ladies in the town are running away. <laughs> <laughs> he's like flexing his fingers at them. The man the man is he he definitely appreciates gender equality and would not hesitate to drop kick a whammon. Okay? Yeah. This man is one of the funniest anime characters of all time. I would argue the fourth character of all time. Fair enough. All right, we can't include guys. We can't include anti characters because then Energy Kyoka would win. I <laughs> don't even know what that is. I'm not gonna. Say I'm kidding. That. I <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do, bitch. <laughs> Dare I say? Oh, Christ! Oh, All right, number three. Right. Can right, his list get better? How how do how much do Can I, I guess? Hold on. Right, I, I, I want to guess. I want to guess. Yeah, let's guess. Right. Okay, let's guess what his uh, choice is gonna be. Nox, what okay. do you say? You go for it. All right, I think it's Gibraltar from Apex Legends. 
No. I think it will be Battle Goose from ReZero. <laughs> TikTok. No. Oh, man. no, close, but no. Okay, go ahead. Light Yagami. Right. <laughs> I would say yes because of the stupid shit he does. But no. Uh, I would say Inosuke from Demon Slayer. All right, he was yeah. pretty funny. Okay. I actually like this character I would, I would a lot. Put him in a... He's a moderately I, funny character. I would, no, he's he, hilarious. No, he, I agree that both him and Zenitsu are hilarious characters. I, yes, I would agree. I, he I, and I, Zenitsu are solid honorable mentions, but number three! <laughs> yeah, that hurts. That hurts, man. <laughs> number three! Sorry. Sorry, I'm getting PTSD right here. He's a top Flashbacks 50, you know? And... <laughs> he, he's a solid top 50, okay? Hey, Yaroshien, bro, 60. I will defend you, you know, I will defend you. Uh, so, uh, allow me to explain the reason yeah, why you. my deep love for Inosuke. Because I think he's neat. And also just because, like, every moment with him is literally him just, like, constantly trying to fuck with Tanjiro. And yeah. it's, oh. it, it's just like, just like, I'm going to steal your food now. And then it's, it's him running around this wild house... And just trying to slay demons, and then like headbutts people, kicks people around, and it's just like, like I'm here because I'm the best. And then when he gets proven he's not the best, he's like, well, I'm here because I'm going to be the best, and Yarrow? all of you can eat it. Yarrow. And then, no, and then on, he passes on, out from a fucking brain hemorrhage. I Yarrow. agree with him. I agree with him. I think it's hilarious when Inosuke he's like fighting demons and then he sees a strong demon slayer and then he wants to fight him too he doesn't give a fuck i think that's pretty funny <laughs> no i think the funniest part about Inos Three. inosuke is how he can't understand tanjiro's good actions and like because he just like he was like isolated in the woods and he doesn't understand like human relations and how things work and he tanjiro's trying to be a nice guy and you know inosuke is just like you fucking with me type of thing <laughs> like like how could i like not do what this guy wants me to do yeah no it's true <laughs> No. And then he calls him he's Monjiro. He's definitely a solid honorable mention. But before we continue, um, there are so many funnier characters, man. Okay. Like, do you have anyone? <laughs> did you watch any comedy anime? Comedy is objective. Stop being it's hard also, on the game. So, so Wait, you mean it's subjective? I... Did I not say subjective? <laughs> I, think, I, thought, I thought, thought that's what I said, but if, in case I didn't, then yes, it's objective, and I'm the one who decides. All right, pretty epic. It, All right, it, so let's move on. Animek, what's your number three? I'm going to go with great teacher, Onizuka. That's my number three also. That's my number two, bitches. Nice. I I All right, I have to sub someone else in. Now. But Onizuka is a hilarious character, and like, like he is so funny, but then so good at the same time. It's fucking Chaz it up, boys. <laughs> Chaz, you know? <laughs> I actually don't have Chaz in here because he's only funny in the dub. All right, Adam Mac, why do you <laughs> why, why do you like uh, Onizuka? Oh, he's just such a hilarious mad lad. Like some of the shit he does is just beyond like belief. But uh, you just gotta love. Him. He's a former gangster turned trucker turned high school teacher. Like the shit he does to the other other teachers and to, like the principal, like. And students. <laughs> I mean, always and students. Always uh, destroying uh, what's called the principal's car. When, yeah. he, when he first had the opportunity to get a job and he fucking suplexed one of the teachers was the best thing ever. <laughs> and he lost his job. But then the, uh, one of the people that were there saw that he was like doing it for like a moral reason type of thing. So then he ended up getting a job. Like it always works out to like him being a good person. But like He's not conventionally a good person, you know? Yo, but you know what's yeah. even better Correct. than defending kids from bullies like Onizuka did? Is what? Killing so kids people? like Caster did! Oh. Hell yes! <laughs> on those bitches! Alright, anyway, all right. so... All right. um, I'm gonna keep well, it forever. It's a nervous laugh. Alright, well I gotta move talk, um, Onizuka out of my list and put someone else in. I have no idea who this is. All right, so my, my number words, three... Uh, my words minimum. remain empty. Rip. Three was also Onizuka, but I'm going to switch him out just so uh, right. we can get yeah, we can keep different going. characters. Oh, we'll talk about uh, Saitama instead. Well, Saitama's hilarious. One Punch Man's hilarious. He's not on my list because, like, I don't know. Like, 
it's like a weird, I have a weird love hate relationship with Saitama. Like, I think it's funny, but it's also underwhelming. And that's the point. But like, it, he he's not funny <laughs> enough to make my list, you know? Wait, it hurts. Like, he trolls you. He trolls you. No, I think Saitama, I think Saitama and, and his legendary Kung Fu Art of the Water Polo is hilarious. Yeah. The I mean, fact that the whole time everyone's like cheering on, like, his cheering him on, you could do it. This other guy's way stronger. And the other guy says, first, I will uh, trip break all the bones in your body. Then, while you are, like, unaware, I will snap your neck and you will be dead. Are you sure you want to fight? Okay. <laughs> Beats him in one second. It's the typical Saitama gag, but it's amazing. Yeah. Like, Saitama cutting off the lord lord orochi the monster king and the manga he meets him and says i am the ultimate being i am and he just gives this massive rant on how he's like the perfect creation the most powerful monster the indestructible you know god of destruction and he goes on this entire massive rant and then saitama like interrupts him. he's like all right all right god of this destructor of that annihilator of universes whatever i've heard all that before i'm gonna beat you with one punch anyway <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I don't know. But one serious, Saitama. serious punch. Dude, when he when he figures out what like when he like decides for himself what martial arts really is, and he's like, you're just doing cool movements. It's flat. <laughs> <laughs> or, it's making your attacks just, look in, cool. In the latest chapter, in one of the latest chapters of the manga, like three chapters ago, um, you know, flashy flash. Yeah. <laughs> flashy flash it thinks that it's a monster coming. Because he senses like this really powerful pressure that uh, none of the other heroes emit, but it's Saitama. And he like sword strikes him, and Saitama like catches the sword, and he's like, "It must have been chance. No one's as fast as me." And he's like, "Yo, I'm a hero just like you." And he just he attacks him again, just because like, <laughs> <laughs> he blocks like the sword ten. again. He's like, "Dude, what are you doing?" And he's like, "Oh well, fine. I can't believe you were lucky <laughs> twice, but try to keep up with me." And he runs away like super fast and he's like, all right, now he'll never keep up with me. It's impossible. And Saitama's like walking beside him. <laughs> and his relationship with King is also so funny. Oh my God. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. I Man, agree. It's top five. That's, it's top five. That's the I, thing, I, I like... love Saitama in the sense like he is the most genuine character. And like, while like all, all characters in, in the show are like, you know, either they're bad guys or they are the good guys. Saitama is just doing it for the good. And the fact yeah, that he's just a hero like, for fun, we're, we're, watching, okay. we're watching a different One Punch Man. It's not It's not that they're all... He's, okay, I could get into this whole philosophical discussion on why I'm every sure hero you can. also... You'll make, you, you'll make an entire video series off of it, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> my Perhaps. point is... My point is, it's like... I I love the genuine like every single reaction that Saitama is just like like I don't know why you're doing this. He's like I'm he's so innocent. You. His yeah. face is so innocent and so oblivious to everything around him, and it just makes yeah. him being overpowered and then the enemy's reactions all the more impactful. It's amazing. Yeah, Bro, like I, I don't know. One Punch Man is one of those series where everyone is hilarious, so it's so hard. I mean, the entire tank top crew, obviously Saitama, Meat Moomin Hammer, Rider. Meat Hammer, oh, bro. My heart <laughs> goes out to Moomin Rider, honestly. Um, did I say three? I only said two so far, I think. Cause, right? cause, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> all right, number three. Stoic, bro. Pooty Pooty Prisoner? Like, come on, man. Oh, All right. Pooty Pooty Prisoner is amazing. I love him. Number three for me is by the same <laughs> same mangaka of, what's it called? Of One Punch no, Man. No, Reagan. Oh, yes! From Mob oh, Psycho, that's boys. That's your number two? He's my number two. Yeah. Yeah. Reagan sneak attack. Self-defense Self punch. Self-defense rush. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Self defense rush is one of the best. He's just such a fucking funny Easy. character. Good choice, Briggs. Thank, so, you. Thank when, you. While attacking my opponent, I also scream out self defense because it doesn't really look like self defense. So this way they can't like sue me afterwards. <laughs> Something like that while he's annihilating his opponent. And he's like, all right, hypnosis punch! <laughs> he just punches the guy. <laughs> hey, it wasn't a punch, it was hypnosis. What do you believe in hypnosis or something? Hypnosis drop kicks, kicks the guy. Ah. Oh man! And all the psychics oh. like gather around him as the grandmaster. <laughs> Hell yeah! I love how he slaps all the psychics at the end of season one too, and just puts them in their place, and just talks so much shit too. Oh, <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's he splashes beautiful. a lot of salt as well. 
he does. My number two, actually. Yeah, so now I need a new number two because mine was Onizuka. So now I need to figure out what I want to, like... I'm going to say one, but it's going to be more of an honorable mention. But anyway, yeah, let's go. Yaro, All right. let's hear your number two, my dude. And Yaro! Okay. <laughs> Do any of you want to make another assumption before we begin? Okay, if you, if you insist. <laughs> well, I do insist. That's why I'm asking. Bringing it up. <clears throat> I'm going to say it's going to be someone from Serial Experiments Lane. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Okay, then, then never mind. <laughs> well, then never mind. Gendo Ikari. Right. No. All right. I, I have never right. watched Evangelion. <laughs> Johan Liebert from Monster? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Nuts. All right, I'm going to go with... um. <laughs> Someone in the chat sketch is like, Bone Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Bone Drew. <laughs> I mean, did you see the way he, like, screwed with all those kids? Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I, like, I love he's caster level. Twitter. <laughs> Cthulhu <laughs> is rough. <laughs> Somebody in Twitter sent me uh, a a picture of Filthy Frank, and it's going. It's all fun and games until some kid dies. Then it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just thought of a sick character. Uh, oh my god, I forgot his name. What's the guy? Oh, Gambino from Berserk. That's right. I don't know, you know who that is. The guy Never that the guy that adopted guts. How is he funny? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> So I oh was my going. God. So my Donovan, number two is Donovan Shigure Donovan from Fruits Chad, Basket, by the way. Not Gambino. My bad. <laughs> so my number two is from Fruit from Fruits Basket. Adam can be stupid yeah. as that, who though? So I I I love Shigure both in the first animation and in, in the recent um, uh, reanimated series in, for this year, mainly because like even though it's more true to heart in the 2019 version. He is still very funny and, like, just kind of, like, he has his own special way of trying to make everyone happy, but he still has his own plans ahead, which is very, which is very interesting because it is this very tricky dog-like nature that he has. And I understand there, there is a dark part of Shiguri, but, like, the lighter part of Shiguri is that he, he's trying to just make everybody smile, making jokes and cracking jokes all the time, which is something that I... I, as an individual, appreciate even though there are like a bunch of dark moments in Fruits Basket. Oh, I'll say what? Like, what anime are you talking about here? The only sugar I know is from Kenichi. I was also. What? And then you talking about Kenichi? I said Fruits like, Basket. Oh, my bad, bro. Yeah, Fruits yeah, no, Basket. It, I didn't hear yeah, either. Fruit, Shigure from Fruits Basket. He he's very he's very interesting in the aspect like like he has two sides. And there is the funny side, and then there is the dark plan side where he's trying the dark to. Dark side of the folks. Yeah. I bet you Shigure yeah. from Kenichi's funny. He funnier. has this. He, he, he is uh, he's funny uh, to me in, in a lot of aspects where it's just like, like he'll mess with a lot of people just because he knows it's it's very lighthearted and kind of being jokey jokes, and then there are times where like when he does get serious, that's when it matters to me. So that's why I do like comedy in a lot of like very serious moments. It's just. You know, a break away from the really fucked up shit that happens in that show. Um, I again haven't I seen, have seen fruits. Same. Fruits Same. Apologize. Fruits really? Fruits yeah. Kibasket. Fruits right. Kibasket is uh, one of the greatest anime, but I have not seen it, unfortunately. All right, it's my turn. Uh, well, then I. I yeah, That's for you also. Time to watch it. The guy with the fishing rod in Sword Art Online. What? The old guy fishing in Sword Art Online. Isn't it my turn to go next? I think or... he's trying to guess for you. That was, I'm, I'm oh, guessing, guessing for you. For me. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No, I'm going with Koro Sensei from Assassination Classroom. He was on my own. He was. Engine. He was. Uh, he was definitely one of the ones I was thinking about. Uh, you know, aside from the fact that he's murdered millions of people. Uh, whatever. You know. No, he hasn't. Well, he he could have. Mr. Summon Cthulhu guy. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that would Cthulhu make him funnier guy. for you. Like, no, Koro Sensei hilarious. is the epitome of, like, a funny like, Koro Sensei. Kill people. The only reason why Koro Sensei isn't higher on the list is because he didn't kill the entire yeah. class. <laughs> <substitute. Yeah. laughs> no, but, like, he's one of the, like, he's the epitome of, like, an anime character. He's a pervert. He's an octopus. He literally became, like, a fucking tentacle monster. He... 
Is he his Kane students are supposed Cthulhu. to kill him, or he's gonna kill them, but he's like the most heartwarming, like, greatest teacher you can ever meet. Like, it's he's such a funny, interesting, unique character. You're never gonna see that plot anywhere other than in anime, and I just love him. No. I, I Still, really one of my favorite scenes is he's from Assassination Classroom. He's he tries to tutor each kid in the class separately, so he's just moving at super speed to, like, make clones of himself, right, yes. to teach them. And there's that one clone that's wearing a Naruto headband for that one yeah. weird kid in the class. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's God. great. He's absolutely he, like, beautiful. takes the extra effort to put the headband on every time he talks to the guy. I thought that was pretty hilarious. Yeah, he's great. Wonderful. Oh, someone just mentioned a character in chat that I think is extremely funny, so I'm going to use him as one of my honorable mentions. I just, I literally watched a clip, a clip from him yesterday, and I'm sure you guys are not expecting me to include Tokyo Ghoul, but... Oh, no. No, no, mm. not the, the guy that sniffs the weird... Tsukiyama is such a funny character. Oh, oh my... Man. So there's this, there's this one line, so... Dude! If you, if you all I know... I suppose the bar that I lowered can keep going lower. Oh, right, damn. Okay, Nux. Mr. Cthulhu Monster. Nux. let I'm me... Still... I suppose. I'm leaning towards Brigo on this one. Let me defend the character. One, he's just so fabulous, and the way he talks is ridiculous. But if you guys, for people who don't know, um, Animac in this case, uh, this guy tried to eat Kaneki because he loves the smell that he gives off. Cause he's like half human, half ghoul. Hilarious and then, you, based on our standards. Wait, who are, are you talking about that gourmand guy? Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Um. Yeah. The guy. But, Oh my god, like, he, the guy that I stopped watching when he came back into the show? He was very weird at the beginning, but when he came, so what, what? I, I thought he was, I thought he died, and then he comes back in, like, episode 6, and I'm like, off, turning off, fuck Tokyo Ghoul, that guy is the biggest Okay, let me at least I'm say the one line, this is an honorable mention. This is, this is the biggest, Briggs, this is the biggest Yadoshien pick. Okay, <laughs> this is an honorable mention, it's not my number 2, my number 2 is Onizuka, but you already said it. But what, I, what ends up happening is, Kaneki oh gets kidnapped right and they they are putting together this team to come like to, to go like retrieve Kaneki and save him right and what ends up happening is it's a room full of all these like top tier ghouls and he invites um the owl like the top guy invites Tsukiyama into the room and everyone's flipping out because Tsukiyama is the try guy who tries to eat Kaneki and like literally tried to kill Toka and everyone else like a couple episodes prior and he just walks in Oh my god, my dear Kaneki. Like he's like so worried. My best friend Kaneki's in trouble How could I not come and help him? And I was just dying. That's one of my fun That's my favorite part in all It's not his best friend. He wants to eat him and have sex with him or something like that's that's the, that that's that's the joke Animac That he walks in like, oh my god, my best friend Kaneki's in danger. I must come to his rescue <laughs> Top Flex is in, in hentai, wants to eat Kaneki in many more ways than one, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's hilarious in a Yaroshien type way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Both of the laughs right there were very genuine. I just did them both differently. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Would you guys have pr preferred to me use my honorable mention on Brooks and just be like, but I don't have any eyes. Yo, -ho -ho -ho! Brooks Stockle. <laughs> I was thinking about doing that Brooks pick, but one piece. yeah. <laughs> anyway, Nux, right. so, your number two. My number two was Reagan, but you already mentioned him, so we don't need to do that again. And instead, I am going to mention the legendary Kira. Kira? <laughs> oh, Yoshikage Kira. Yukihira Soma. Nice. Oh, you. Oh, okay. I would. I agree on a lot of aspects. He's he's very. I'm going to fuck with you, kind of. He's funny. Uh, yeah. He just he messes with people, on, on purpose, because it's just either to show how smooth he is. Or how it's beautiful. I mean, yeah. I feel bad because in my like honorable mentions, there's so many I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about. Okay, maybe I'll say after because I have a feeling it'll be Briggs's favorite. And, and so. I'm glad you're you have no idea who my favorite my number is. One, bud. Uh, my number one is, is <laughs> going to be is is going to include food as well. Yeah, um, I think Soma's dad is also pretty funny. He's very badass, you that's for sure. He's, he's gone for a majority of the series. I like the one that's there. 
Yeah, that's true. I mean, no, no, he he's hilarious. I love Soma. He gathers his tea always. He's up for every battle. He flexes on everyone. You know, the fact that he I there's this guy Eisen who's not like Bleach Eisen, <laughs> and basically I thought, you like, I thought we were like comparing him to Bleach Eisen. That would be another Yarrow Shin. I, uh... well, I, Eisen is also a pretty funny fucking character when you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. well anyway so eisen sets up this whole um thing where he rigs a tournament that he's gonna go up against yukihira he bribes the judges to vote for him and yukihira knows this before the match and he still accepts and they're like yukihira why are you accepting you have no chance of winning he, the judges are gonna vote for him regardless he's like nah my my cooking is so much better than Eisen, who's already a beast. That there's no way, even if they're being paid to vote for him, that they would vote for him. No, he will just make them. And jizz. they still vote for Yukihira. He will. They will. He'll make them jizz with his food. They won't have a Correct. choice. That's a pretty Correct. big flex. Not gonna lie. I, it's a big flex. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I think Yukihira is amazing. Biggest cooking related flex is an anime right there. I I'm Yo, still I, waiting for for the anime's biggest comeuppance from Nux. <laughs> The biggest come up is <laughs> I need that. Well, you'll have to keep waiting for that one. Damn it. <laughs> uh, are you we don't do it. I in the win. Chat, in the chat, Forsaken NGS says following the theme, the major from Helsing Ultimate should be an option. <laughs> I <Okay>. also agree. <laughs> so, for number one for Yaro Shien, I'm going to guess either Show Tucker or Lad Russo. I said from food, so I gave you guys a hint. Lad Russo is pretty funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What is happening? Okay, Man go ahead. It's insane. It's beautiful. No, All right, can I, can I take another guess? Can I take a guess? Sure, Fine. go ahead. The Worm Pit from Fate Zero. I don't know. Sadal Mao pit? working at McDonald's. Uh, My honorable mentions is um, Al Ciel from Devil's a Part Timer. Uh, I prefer Mao to him. I do too as a character, but I think Alciel is much funnier. Oh, really? Interesting. Well, okay, uh, Arushien, my, my... you may reveal your number one. Uh, Hotaru from Degashi Kashi. Not see that coming. I told you it was about food. Did not I, see that just... anime. Really? It, it, Hold on. Is that the is that the whammon from the first episode that like sucks on lollipops in sexual ways? I. I... In some ways, yes. Uh, it's you mean in some it's ways? Like, in some ways, yes, because it's true. And also, it's just like her introduction and her presence in the show is just ridiculous. Like, her main goal is just to get the dad of the main character to work for her company. And the way she goes about it is always fucking hilarious to me. And it's just like, like you don't have to do this, but here she goes doing it anyways. And then, of course, like in most common fashion of anime, a bunch of ridiculous shit that happens. Uh, shenanigans. Oh my see. god! Wouldn't it be hilarious if this lollipop was used as a dildo? Ha <laughs> ha! Pretty amazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the kashi kashi. All right, all right. I'm, I'm with you. I, I see the humor. I don't see uh, top five. I thought we wouldn't get any. Uh, I, I still I, think Inosuke is the funniest of your picks. I I believe so, too. He's a good boy, too. <laughs> He's the good boy. I, I have too many questions, but anyway. <laughs> I about, think that... about my boy? Do I have to send you the, do I have to send you the, <laughs> the Jason Momoa gift? <laughs> <laughs> Even though I would say that um, I disagree with your list more than anyone else in this call. Ever. At the same time, you were definitely the MVP, and the caster meme will live on. Hell yeah. <laughs> Animag, who's your number one? Yeah, so that's that's tough for me, just because I think there's... Like, yeah, I would... St Joseph would be probably my number one pick, neutrally. But, I, but we already talked about him. Um, talked about a few others. I guess well, we haven't specifically talked about Moomin Rider, so I can go with Moomin Rider. Moomin Rider is quite, quite funny, and I feel like he's even funnier because of all the memes that went around in the community. No? Yes? 
What? Sorry, I didn't hear you. It's a little bit of awkward silence there, boys. I I think what? it was like a. It sounds like someone's connection. typing. People are uh, doing things other than paying attention to this podcast. Nah, fam, you just cut out. You were silent for. Oh, second. was yeah. I? Yeah, I think you cut out. Yeah. Uh, Discord sucks. Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For anyone that doesn't know, I just make fun of Discord all the time. Like whenever Nux calls me, I'm like, Discord's the worst. Yeah. Um. Anyway, my number one. Unless you guys want to talk about Moon Rider a bit, because I know I cut out. Moomin Rider's straight up hilarious. We talked about yeah, him already Moomin... when I mentioned Saitama, but mm. very brief. Moomin Rider is is also one of my sons. Yo, he could uh, stand the wi- stand wild cycling. Cycling. I'm losing it here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no, he's crazy. Yeah, he's he's crazy funny. Also, um, I mean, is psyche... just this crash technique echoes psych... echoes through the Armstrong lines for generations. Exactly. Psyche's um, grandpa is also, you know, a great contender. My boy Joseph. There are a lot of, you know, great, great options. Okay. Urahara so... or Jiraiya from Naruto. No. Excalibur from Soul Eater. Hell yeah. I mean, Excalibur is in my uh, honorable mentions. The fact that he's such a troll, so much of a troll, that even though he's one of the strongest weapons, people don't want to work with him. It's amazing. It's amazing. It is so funny. His whole Excalibur. concept is hilarious. It was, it's so good. You fool. Excalibur. Uh, Gyor in the chat brought up Hisoka. I think that's definitely a Yaroshien type. Yeah, that's yeah. Yaroshien. No, he's hilarious. <laughs> he's always fucking with somebody. He is what funny though. Hell? He he is a funny he's character. He's funny. He's always fucking with everybody. That's his yeah. whole gig. Yeah, like, like he's, he's like, just there to mess with everyone. Like he's playing this like whole con on like all of the uh the entire Phantom Troop. And as all right. Crollo is talking about like what he's plans to do about it, he <laughs> he's so cause thinking he's like he's basically got a hard on. He's like, oh man, this guy's brilliant. I can't wait to be the one to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy Adam you, Mac knows stuff about... He's playing the long game, really. Yeah. It's so crazy. Did you see the volleyball game yet, Adam Mac? Uh, no, I have not. Hi, Q. Because that is one of the greatest anime moments of oh, all okay, time. Good. Oh, you want to know what? Oh, God. Uh, what's his name from Yamushi Pedal? Yo. Uh, Yaro, Onoda. Yaro. Onoda would have been one of my picks. Because, uh, like... He's from both what? the happiest boy and also the funniest. From what? Pedal. From what show? Yamushi Pedal. The bicycling oh. anime. Okay. <laughs> bro. Oh yeah, bro. Sorry, we don't we don't watch bicycling anime. But you do watch <laughs> Hunter Hunter yourself. on your stationary bike. <laughs> I'm yeah, so yeah, proud I of you. I also watch. <laughs> I watch Moomin Rider, but I don't watch all an entire anime about riding bikes. All right, Nux. What do you think my number one is? He said you wanted to guess it number one um i'm a little um worried because there's two that i think could be it <laughs> so i'm scared he, but he said we'll but, never guess so it's probably not anyone from one piece well i wanted to say that um before we continue i want to ask yarrow sheen a very serious question okay what is it, it was funnier <laughs> when kazuma brought aqua into the alternate world or the eclipse from berserk <laughs> <laughs> I, so so here's the thing i've i have never seen berserk so i have to immediately choose not berserk i mean that's a good choice it it's is. the right answer uh, but if he did watch berserk he would definitely choose berserk. i would yeah <laughs> all right like, my... I'm all like wow that that was that heel turn is fucking good yeah you know you know that chick that really enjoys watching people burn to death in berserk like really likes enjoys it <laughs> hilarious huh? hilarious hilarious so guys my number one pick no, no is... one else is also hilarious. all right i'm gonna guess it's hoin kyoma hoin kyoma son of a bitch he is funny but no all right uh let me guess something let me guess something is it oh. it's not from one piece right it's uh it's from kanichi so you wouldn't is it oh, all right okay, I get it. It. okay now you gotta guess nux second guess Ken, oh, I know who's Nijima. Of course it's Nijima. Ah, there you go. You got it. K- yeah, Kenichi has that. some hilarious characters with Appa Chai, Appa Papa, the way he answers the phone. Like, uh, give me money and I teach you how to kill, but nothing beats. All the masters are great, but nothing beats Haro Nijima. He's one of my favorite characters in all of anime. I think he's just so fucking funny because he's this absolute weakling who is like the leader of the Shimpaku Alliance and is kind of tricks people into joining and like he gains power through like affiliation 
He's basically like Buggy, except more maniacal. Yes, exactly. So there's one scene where, like, he wants to plan a battle with an enemy gang. So rather than, like, he, he was still trying to convince people, he dressed up as a girl and put, like, love uh, invitations in all their lockers. And as they looked at the love invitation, he would just, like, run away in the distance and just, you just see the flashing hair, right? And it ends up just being him, and they all come to the location, and, like, just by coincidence, they end up having to fight his battle. And then there's one scene where he runs into a leader of an enemy gang, and they're like, is this Haru Nijima, the leader of the gang? And like, or he like, he talks himself up like he is like the, the, the general of this alliance. And he starts doing all this fancy footwork and people are literally impressed. Ooh, nice footwork. Meanwhile, he's like slowly using that footwork to run away. Run away. And just the way he talks <laughs> and the way he manipulates everyone is just so fucking funny. When I think of like gangs, I think of Bungo Stray Dogs and Dazai. He's also- Dazai is hilarious. He is, he's hilarious because like, he is dark humor. Oh my time. god, in the chat! I forgot about Ichia from Fairy Tale. He's hilarious. I love him. Oh, him. yeah! Well, we oh, all know god. you're gonna talk about Gintoki, so... Yeah, Gintoki's number one. He's the funniest anime character of all time. Thanks for coming. I've been seeing yeah. it all <laughs> on <laughs> fucking Twitter. Didn't oh, see yeah, that one coming. A, we have a mention in the chat of Daily Lives of High School Boys. That is a hilarious Oh, hilarious. yeah! yeah that, that's pretty oh, funny. Oh, god. But I like, remember th that as I was coming out of high school. That anime... And like Keijo and stuff. Like I wouldn't take any one character out of those and be like, this character is so funny. But like the entire anime is hilarious. So uh, um, we definitely Kuwabara. need a cat. Cooler Bar is pretty funny. He's a good character. Yeah. Jenna Marley says five thousand <laughs> bitches for Kentucky. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Also, yeah, we didn't. Was waiting. She was waiting in the chat. Like as bitch. soon as the podcast started, she was like, "Yo, Kentucky." Yeah, she said she she donated a thousand bits. Kentucky better be number one, and now dropping that five thousand. I, mean, I don't mean to be that guy. All of you upset at me for picking Kentucky. I just made y'all fifty bucks. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. Hey, I, I'm not upset at you. G Gender Marley says huge <laughs> thanks for being the ultimate stan. Very cool. All right, we, we need to him. um we need to mention the overly cautious hero. It's a new anime this season, and it's oh, absolutely it. fucking hilarious. Like I almost worthy of making the top five. If not, like it might have to kick out one of my stupid picks that I made. <laughs> so I've only been seeing clips of it, and I've been enjoying like some of the some of the visuals of it. I just think the show is just so ridiculous, and like I I've already I'm already well over the whole fucking like fantasy isekai deal but like i i do think that what i've seen so far is pretty goddamn hilarious man i'm so excited guys uh a bit off topic but i don't know if i mentioned this during the podcast but i started writing the first chapter of the rank of fey isekai and i just like got so into it man you guys don't even know you don't even know <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm hyped because we like we planned out a bunch of stuff a while ago but we never like, you never actually actually started putting the first chapter together and you're going hard now right I'm yeah yeah so I, I i got some work done i'm i it's i'm just working on my computer because it's easier than to work on google docs but i'll paste it into the google docs in a bit Hyped. oh man oh, making man. thumbnail animac nux how could you do this during rad cafe that's terrible animac <laughs> writing a full volume of a novel during rad cafe <laughs> everyone wow animac very cool well, it's wow. because people have been all like saying, hey Dang. guys, where's the rank cafe isekai? We want the rank cafe isekai. I'm doing it for the people. So of course you write it for the people during the rank cafe. <laughs> so, um... Uh, with that said, I believe that we can confirm the funniest anime character of all time is, in fact, <laughs> Nina Tucker. And, <laughs> um... This is true. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. <laughs> Do we have any more honorable mentions? What about uh, I guess I got Takamura! I forgot about Takamura, god damn it. He's such a funny oh, character. He's, funny. he's so badass in the ring and then outside the ring he's just hilarious. Um Talk about this guy Satania right here. From he's pretty Gabriel funny. Dropout. I wanted to I talk would about agree with you, Briggs, that those like him specifically is really good, but like their relationship. Yeah. Yo, I, Isaiah! I Guys, like, what about the actual cowboy from Cowboy Bebop? I was, I didn't want to say Silence. Spike Spiegel because, like, he cracks a lot of great jokes, but, like, I didn't want to say Spike Spiegel. Uh. 
<laughs> no, but the cowboy, he's like Spike's rival, if you recall the one episode. or The, the actual yeah. cowboy. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's so obnoxious. Um, Sam just donated a thousand bits. A, a thousand magical crystals, I should say. Caster going into the <laughs> Rack Cafe. A thousand bits. Rack Cafe Hall of Fame. Tis true. Oh, it's so funny that our boy Caster Clovis isn't here. He's For the gonna be one pissed. time. The yeah, one I know. Time. He's going to be pissed. Talking about Caster the whole podcast and he's not here. He's just hanging out in Belgium where he lives. Um, Lambo. Hilarious character. Lambo's <laughs> pretty funny. I think the professor from Nietzsche Joe is also one of the funniest anime characters. And if if we were talking dubs and like funny dubs, Chaz. Chaz from yeah. GX is like god tier. Yo, what about Todoroki? Uh, There's that scene where he gets like burned. That's pretty. <laughs> I, I was gonna say the scene where yeah, he's hilarious. Just, like, I worked so I worked anime so character. hard where he where he makes his room and then everyone's like like this is really weird and then he's like I worked so hard. <laughs> Yarrow, admit it. Your favorite funny character in My Hero Academia is Stain. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, it's all for one. <laughs> what the hell is... Any, anyway, Nox, you want to read some reviews, mate? Ooh, I have a cold. My voice hurts like hell. And uh, we'll be reading reviews next week, hopefully. But people have been asking for free shirts, man. I can't give them free shirts if you don't read the reviews. Oh, yeah. I forget. All right. I'll, I'll do it then. <clears throat> reviews! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you're, you're playing this up a little bit too much just stop playing <laughs> do like bro. just do a I'm couple reviews though here. just do a couple you don't need to go that hard for the free shirt for the free shirt boy oh boy five stars what a podcast this is where do i start with my review before listening to this podcast i would after watching some next taco videos and listening to the podcast my knowledge about anime greatly increased and my interest was peaked Therefore, I would like to thank you all for your great recommendations, Lord Brigo, for his unbiased opinions about anime. Thanks to you. I watched Kenichi and my god with a spoon, man. Shiguri with a with freaking a spoon. spoon. <laughs> I recently started reading One Piece, and what a journey this turning out to be. Next is the Slavic Adonis, also known as Animac with a K. Thank you for your philosophic philosophic of anime you are truly a modern classic in your own right thanks to you i started watching and now i finally understand what you mean by the philosophical greatness of kamina and last but certainly not least lord nuxador shining his opinion on anime more high and mighty than older brighter using so and thanks for your enthusiasm and inspiring videos which may or may not include your hentai videos which you never made <laughs> Thanks to you, I watched Fundamental Anarchy and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and it was an amazing experience. Honestly, the best podcast in the world, and you know I'm serious because it's the world and not Zawardo. Thank you all for your great work, and keep it up. Thank you, Kenichi got hit with a pain. Cool. Yeah, this guy, this guy really, this was on Spreaker, by the way, he posted this. He really gave us a lot of fan service. We can't not give him a free shirt. Hit me up on Twitter. At Anime Uproar. We'll give you that free shirt, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Dude, there's so many fucking hilarious characters in Kanichi. Like, all oh. right. And on that note, everybody, thank all you right. so much. I, I'm going to read one more review because this one's funny. Next right, review. Fine. So my mom thinks Rant Cafe is Japanese porn five stars. <laughs> my mom thinks anime is Japanese porn, so I thought it would be fine to watch Rant Cafe without headphones. So I start watching it. You guys start, talk, start talking about getting naked and... You being naked right now, and all I see is my mom's hand coming out of nowhere and slapped, and she's scolding me for watching porn outside of my room. She thinks Rant Cafe is an anime now, so uh, I know when I watch Rant Cafe, I have to put headphones on. If the German porn star is reading this, which is me, hope you feel better. Stay weird, Space Cowboy Shinpaku. That... Thank you, Bill Maninator. Oh, Very cool. This, this man or woman gets a free shirt as well hit me up on twitter it's you know why this is yaroshi and you weren't here but yeah last time people were asking why no one was using face cam because we just kind of had our avatars and we all said because we're naked and we couldn't show ourselves on twitch what the f <laughs> what did i miss oh uh, you missed the world 
I miss the world. The world. Oh. <laughs> it's the world, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All that's right. Anyway, next I, review. I, 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 this one's pretty funny, actually. <clears throat> Nokia is still Nokia is still garbage. <laughs> Five stars. I may have to get things done. Step one, meme on Animex. Step two, success. Rustage, a true mad lad, made a great intro. In Animex, constant battle for professionalism. Why would the intro music change to a ringtone from a 2000s area Nokia flip phone? <laughs> yeah, this is like a spinoff <laughs> of an earlier review. So it is. It is. Good, but yeah. not the free shirt. Good. Good. All right. So uh, that's that. So like, thanks for the reviews. I want to play Apex, Knox. Come on. We'll play some Apex. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys. Before these guys play Apex Legends, while I continue working on the rank of a Isekai prologue, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to Yaro Shien, who was back. Uh, definitely check out his channel on YouTube. We're going to have his links on uh, uh, when this goes up on YouTube. Uh, thank you to my co-hosts and best friends in the whole world, Briggs and Knox. Love you too, and brother. You know, Always. Because he said world. And, world. and not the world. Much love to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and until um, next time, see us, Space Cowboys. Bang! Uh, Yaro, was there something you wanted to announce? If, if so, just put it in now. Oh, yeah. So uh, a few things uh, that have been happening... Uh, I recently started a brand new channel because these wonderful people gave me the uh, the inspiration to really do so. So um, every uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I stream regularly uh, on my Twitch channel. So if you want to watch, I'm uploading a bunch of twi uh, Twitch clips from 2019 onto my brand new channel, which is Shein Pie. Uh, Shein dash pie. We'll link it all down below. You're good. It's and, like Senpai, uh, but Shein. Yeah, and then yeah, Abby, also that was the funniest thing I've ever heard, anime. <laughs> uh, and then also every Sunday, uh, me and a bunch of amazing uh, content creators and artists and people that uh, come from the community, uh, we play a D and D live stream show called D Six Dawn Right, which has its own channel as well. Uh, we come by every week. Uh, the this will be the last week. Uh, I'm not sure when this uploads, but this will be the last week. For the year and then we have two christmas specials which include monty glue uh from the unexpectables campaign uh puffin forest and then uh bracky and of course joe cat from the craft guide series will be joining as well for uh this two-part christmas uh special uh d6 nightmare of christmas which i am totally looking forward to uh showing everyone so if you guys are really interested in that and also i want to thank ran cafe here for having me again uh, and allowing me to uh, talk about my favorite terrifying uh, characters that are also hilarious. <laughs> oh, our pleasure, man. I was always uh, kind of too lazy to learn how to play D&D, &D, but I heard it's great. So it's really cool that you're doing that. Yeah. Um, it, it, like, I, if you ever want to get into D&D, &D, I really suggest D&D &D Beyond. I'm not sponsored. I'm just... I just really like the service. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Raid Shadow Legends. Everyone <laughs> gather your armies together and fight orcs, demons, elves, and dwarves. <laughs> All right, let's play some Apex. Hell yeah! Okay. And also, I'll, I'll edit your um your like shoutouts into the actual like any of the podcast. I accidentally at one point opened up Apex and then I couldn't minimize it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but it worked out. It worked out. Right. Yo, it's Rustage! Rustage Hello. in the I, house! I'm very confused. <laughs>